Millions of dollars are being invested in cleaning up our oceans, rivers and beaches in an effort to turn the tide and reduce the impact of plastic on the environment. These efforts are crucial, especially knowing global consumption rates are rising. But what if moving forward, there was a solution within our reach to lead into a circular economy using materials that can infinitely recycle? Let's take a closer look. It's not a secret. As a society, we are widely dependent on single-use plastic. From straws, bags, and takeaway boxes, the amount of plastic items we use once then toss out is overwhelming to say the least and creating problems that even our landfills don't know what to do with them. Well, in terms of uh, finding solutions to the plastic that's used one way uh, in the world today, we have to first start with solid waste. About 7.7 .7 billion people in the world and they produce about 2 billion tons of solid waste. Plastics represent about 12% of that total. So really they're a part of everyday society. The challenge is that they're very, very durable. And as a result of being very durable, they don't break down in the environment very effectively. So really plastics in the environment and single-use plastics is a bit of a misnomer. Many of the plastics we use can be used again indefinitely. Sustainability is a very diverse problem and it's going to be solved both globally as well as regionally. So I think it's key that as a global leader we can talk to recyclers around the world, big brands around the world, look what's happening in Southeast Asia or look what's happening in a Western country and then educate others about that solution. Husky Injection Molding Systems, a leading industrial technology supplier to the plastics processing community, creates equipment tackling the issue from the factory floor. Once upon a time, the onus rests heavily on us, the consumer, to reduce, reuse and recycle. But it's becoming more and more clear that companies have a huge responsibility to transform the way plastics are created and viewed from the start. We have a range of solutions to help our customers achieve their sustainability. And really I'd walk it through sort of starting with the package. Let's design a package that is sustainable. And this is a great place where Husky closes the loop from throughout the whole value chain. We talk to resin suppliers, we talk to PET recyclers, and we understand what happens to that package after it's done its journey. PET is really the poster child in the different plastics. Like if you look at it, it's a very simple material based on carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. The basic elements that Mother Nature gives us to build from. And the PET has the advantage that it's a very versatile material, it is food safe, and it can be recycled and it can be upcycled. So it can be used infinitely over and over. This bottle used to be 10, 15 gram. It's now to five gram. And actually this is a development with our partners that we call the Factor 100 bottle. What that means is this bottle can carry 100 times its own weight. So that is amazing. And if you think about it, all you need are these few pellets that make this bottle and it's the most sustainable package today that, that is really available in the world. If you look at the materials, we quite often hear that reuse means that you use the same bottle again. But with PET, we have the opportunity to reshape this to a new shape and then reuse it and you can have it back in your hands in five days. So that is an amazing property that really only PET offers us. Whether it's innovation for productivity, whether it's innovation for product quality, or whether it's innovation to provide, for example, the ability to use post sue materials, it's really the way we integrate that and the fact that our systems do that more productively than any other that uh, put us on the map. With the help of more than 4,000 employees, Husky provides equipment and services to customers in over 100 countries, everything from beverage and food packaging, medical and home care. Those customers, mainly plastic packaging producers, are constantly on the lookout for new innovative ways to develop more sustainable packaging options in order to reduce the impact of plastic on the environment while fulfilling their sustainable packaging goals. And that allows their customers like Ice River Springs in Ontario to produce all of these packages from 100% recycled material. So that means instead of going to a landfill, bottles are given new life over and over and over again, continuing to give waste diversion its place in the circular economy. So what we're trying to do in our company is show that we can actually be part of the solution for other PET and other PET packaging, not even just beverage, but clamshell material. So we can reuse that material again and again. 
Our stance is that there's enough plastic here on Earth now, we just have to find ways to reuse it. A sustainable business can be financially viable as well, and we want to show other global companies that this is possible. Husky is always pushing us to be at the forefront of that discussion. They have a, more, a bigger global presence than we do, so that's very beneficial for us, and they're always helping us to drive that message. I think one of the key things is that we've worked with Ice River to reduce waste. They were looking to reduce cost, reduce waste, and become more vertically integrated. We keep working with our customers to ensure that the equipment also delivers on what we promised. We look forward to driving innovation and also changing how people perceive plastics. So we want people to understand that plastics are a great part of our lives. They will always be a part of our lives, but we want consumers to see them as a valuable and sustainable resource. We continue to take the time to listen well to what matters to a generation. And that'll change, right? Because we'll evolve, generations will evolve, those priorities will evolve. And I think listening well and making those solutions our mandate, we have to provide an environment that both makes us a very successful business. In our industry, it's called a top industrial but more than anything else, attracts young people to the organization to develop a career, to uh, tackle problems they didn't think they could solve, to deal with issues that are relevant to their generation, and that we continue to do that. So when it comes to putting an end to the seemingly endless supply of plastic being produced, sustainability and innovation are key in not only creating items that are more easily recycled or contain recycled content, but also in making us think a little harder about simply throwing it away and being a part of the solution.